and my brothers. Uh, my vocation story starts uh, in high school with a good friend of mine. Um, he, he inspired me to really keep the faith. So when I went on to college, um, I made uh, adoration and a daily mass once a week uh, at the Newman Center in Mankato. And uh, eventually people took notice that I was gone. So they invited me to a discernment group, a men's discernment group, uh, for guys that they thought would be uh, good priests. Um, so <laughs> so I, went to the, I went to this group because, uh, I mean, I didn't want to be a priest, but I figured, I guess I'm not doing anything that important on Monday nights, so I'll just go. Um, but then, uh, I, I, it was very informative. We read the book, To Save a Thousand Souls. Uh, but I didn't want to be a priest, really, so um, I was like, well, that's very informative, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but, and I decided that I didn't really want a four-year degree, uh, that I could probably do just as well with my life with a two-year degree, so I decided to leave Mankato. Um, and then I went to a tech school, and they, the priest in town was new, so he was trying to get to know people, and so I went to confession with him once, and he just... He told me, if you ever, I was going for power line technology, and he said, if you ever want to climb higher than those poles, you should give seminary a try. And so I thought, well, that's, that's an odd thing to say. Uh, <laughs> but but I, kept, I kept praying, and I got a job after school hauling uh, fertilizer out to fields, and I have to sit and wait in the field for like half an hour, so I just brought apologetic books out. Um, I just started to learn a lot more about the faith, and I just wanted to know more, and I kind of really fell in love with it. And then uh, I, I started to go for runs in the evening, but I overestimated my athletic ability. And so I had to walk back. Uh, and I would, <laughs> so, so I just, I would pray the rosary on the way back. And uh, the idea of priesthood kept coming up. Uh, no matter how hard I tried to like shove it away, it just kept coming up. Um, and then, my, finally at the Easter vigil, we were on the way to Easter vigil with my family, and my mom was just like, you know, Father Tony always thought you'd be a good priest. And I, I was really filled with joy at that, um, but I, I didn't tell her anything. Um, and then finally I went to, a, went to Mass one time, and the, I was like, God, give me a sign. Like, at this Mass, if you want me to be a priest, I'll go to the seminary. Just give me a sign at this Mass. Uh, and the priest got up and he announced that he was retiring. And, you know, I said, there's a shortage, there's going to be some shifts around uh, the diocese. And then he said, you know, there might be somebody in here who's being called to be a priest. Uh, and my heart just sank, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> That's just a coincidence, that's fine. <laughs> um, but fi but I, went to, uh, I went to confession again, and I went face to face with the guy, and he didn't know anything but my sins, and he said, you know, you should give seminary a try. Uh, and so I went out of the confessional, I was just like, well, either they're telling every young guy that goes into the confessional <laughs> to be a priest, <laughs> or I should maybe talk to somebody about this. Um, so I talked to my parish priest. He got me into contact with the vocations director. Um, and so now I'm here. So praise be Jesus Christ. Amen.